Um, I have with me today, to my left, <laughs> Mr. Chris Hartley from KHOF and Mr. Mert Karakush. Karakush? Karakush, yes. Yes, okay. Um, from ODA Studios. And our job today is to have a conversation about the purchasing process and what it's like for consumers as they go to purchase their home and what that experience is like and how we can make it better for them. That's our job today. You guys ready to rock ready. and roll? Okay, so first of all, before we dig in, Chris, can you tell us a little bit about what you do at KHUF? Sure, um, not a lot. <laughs> so I, That's why you're here, right? My boss actually thinks I do very little, but I do, try, I do tend to travel <laughs> around and speak a lot, so he does question what I do. Uh, but my job title is Vice President of Sales, so I do run the Dallas-Fort Worth region. We do about 800 homes a year. Um, I've been doing this right at two decades, two decades on December 3rd. So somebody had mentioned earlier, when you start counting your career in decades, you've been doing this for too long. So two decades. And I eat, sleep, breathe sales and marketing, so I love it. That sounds like a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> All right, Mert, would you like to give us a little insight into what you do? Absolutely. So uh, I've been a co-founder and CEO at Oda Studio for about four years now. So Oda is an image-based visualization and virtual design platform for real estate. Uh, we are working with artificial intelligence to bring virtual designs to, to home builders, essentially. And especially in the past two years, our focus has been on the marketing and design aspects of, of real estate businesses. Home builders is a big business for us. Multifamily is another area that we focus on. Okay, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm gonna need you to explain how artificial intelligence works. And we don't have all day, so like, can we get like the two minute version of the basics of how the artificial intelligence works within the visualization tools. Yes, and, and AI as we know it evolved a lot in the past few decades, but I'm going to focus on the developments in the past few years. Basically right now companies, some, some of the giant companies, tech companies out there, and even small companies like ours, are able to take tons and tons of data to train these AI models. And what we mean by that is an AI can now learn what is a good photo of a single family home? What is a good living room photo? What's a good bathroom photo? What is a good design that you can put into a certain room? So these models, when you train them with millions and millions of data points, they can all of a sudden do a lot of interesting and creative things. And that's kind of where we see these AI models going into right now. You guys might be seeing all these AI-generated art, AI-generated avatars and yeah. profile pictures, etc., online. That's becoming big, and, and the current models work very well, especially with creative things. Fantastic. Thank you for giving us that overview. So if I had to take that and summarize it, it would be the equivalent of me taking photos and saying, good, bad, good, bad, and me trying to learn that over and over again, but the machine can do it in milliseconds, right? That's correct. That's okay. correct. And, and machine can also generate content. That's very, and, that's interesting. It's not just yeah. telling you which is good but it can then generate content. So then means. instead of me having to draw it or me having That's to design right. it, it provides inspiration right. and, and it can show you the potentials, potentially even give you the details of it. Absolutely. Way faster than like the decades it would take for me to yep. absorb all that content and create. Yep, and, and another part of it is also the personalization aspect. I mean, we are all interacting with it in our daily lives actually. If you go to Amazon, and if you select a particular profile, Amazon has your transaction history, right? And it knows that if you are looking at one product, it can recommend you other products. Yeah. Or when you go to Netflix, it's not asking you to select from thousands and thousands of movies, right? It has a profile of who you are and it's recommending you movies. So it's basically a similar thing. We can now pretty quickly figure out what kind of styles, designs, homes a consumer may yeah. like and then give them more of the content that, that is going to work for them. 